Welcome to my Dagnoff King guide. This will be involving all three of the kings, so you will need to bring all three styles. For my gear, I highly suggest War Priest of Zamrock helmet, plate body, and plate legs. You can use Cindermane gloves atrocious rogue gloves or the recipe for disaster barrels gloves the boots if you have i advise using the fremnik c boots 4 which is the elite fremnik completion needed to get them if you do not have them you will want to use silver hawk boots these boots when worn it will note the Dagnoff King bones, and you will also deal 5% more DPS towards them. A Amulet of Fury T, because it is non-degradable and it's considered a hybrid amulet, which gives 34 in all of them. If you have a normal Amulet of Fury, I suggest you sell it because the Fury is 1.8 mil. The Amulet of Fury T is 700k. Lastly, you will need a Book of Law purely for its stats and a Luck of the Doors. As for the weapon, I do have a Mizari that is a melee style. In my inventory, I have an Armadillo Battle Staff, which is for magic, and I have a Decimation Bow, which is for range. Keep in mind that the Spear is about 9 mil, the Battle Staff is about 13 mil, and the Decimation Bow is about 40 mil. You can do this with slightly less weapons, possibly Shadow Glavens. But those are dual wield, and switching to 2H is a lot easier. And also remember, the Armadillo Battle Staff is unlimited air runes, and the Decimation Bow is ammo free, so it does save inventory space. You will also want Enhanced Excalibur, the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard. A Super Restore 4, I like to bring over 200 magic note paper. This is so you can note the Dagnoff Hide. If you do not have the Fremnic boots, you will want to get the 200 and up. That is so you can personally note the Dagnoff Bones yourself since you do not have the boots. And then Holy Overloads. Now you may notice when I switch weapons, it automatically switches my action bar. This can be done by the settings. Make sure to be on gameplay. Go to combat. Action bar binding. And for here, in my case it says action bar binding setup 1. My first action bar is Melee 2 h so if I go back to the settings, I'll make sure to click on it and select Melee 2 h and then since it is action bar number 1, you'll want to put the action bar preset to 1. If I go over to my magic, notice it is action bar 4. I will want to go to the settings and then this time I want to scroll down to the action bar binding setup 4. I like to select all magic and then since it is action bar 4 just bind it to that. Lastly the range is action bar 5. So once again go back to the settings scroll down to action bar binding setup 5 select all range and then action bar 5 
once you are all set and there is several ways to go to the Danoff Kings. The quickest and cheapest way is by buying a Danoff Kings Teleport Tablet which if I examine it says 12k but it did cost me about 30k. You can also manually run there through the Waterbirth Island Dungeon or tune a max skill portal for 100k. Once you are all ready, break the Dagnoff King teleport or go through the portal. And then you will be dropped off here. Make sure to climb down the ladder, go south, and then follow the one way road. Keep going, <clears throat> and you will see a little rock that you will need to jump over. Jump over it, and then that's it. If you are maxed and you did use the portal, it will bring you directly here. Once you are ready, you want to select your quick prayers to magic. Drink your overload, and for the aura, you can use inspiration, vampirism, or what I like to use is dark magic since it's considered a hybrid cape and aura. Then activate it, drink your stuff, and pray magic, and immediately wear your melee and enter. From here, the Dagnoff Supreme will attack you. You will want to kill it. Now, at your first time entering this, every single time, all three kings will be attacking you. This does deal a lot of damage, but do not worry. After you kill the Supreme, switch to your Armado staff and then kill. Rex. If you have, you can use Devotion. For this first part, notice that I'm pretty much face tanking, but after I kill a second Dagnoff, it will be significantly easier. And then once Rex is killed, wield your Decimation Bow and attack Prime. Pick up the loots and you will notice the bones are noted for me and I'm picking up the hide. Now since Prime is your last you want to come right here and then just attack using range. Remember you can use magic note paper on the Dagnoff hide to note them. Once he is killed, wear your melee weapon and now attack Supreme. You can soul split, but if you do not want, you can pray range. Make sure to slaughter and then walk under him. And then Rex will spawn. For him, you can make it easier on yourself by going to the south east corner and you can pray melee and then just attack him. Now there is a little safe spot that you can do and that is right here if you go to this little corner, let me see, right here. Oh, or not? Okay. Okay, I guess right here then. Yeah, oh well. Nothing to worry about, I guess. And now, since your prayers are set to magic, enable it, devotion, and attack prime. You can run, or as you just saw, I already have the next 
Dagnoff spawn. This is purely why I like to go, kind of hug the east way, until I kill Prime. That way two other three Dagnoffs will not be on me. And then I will attack him again. Remember, Supreme does use range, which you can prepare correctly, or you can just soul split. Make sure to walk under him to bleed. And then since Rex spawned, switch back to magic. And then depending on your gear, you may want to run him south because the next Dagnoff will spawn and you do not want to be taking two of them at the same time. Now, for killing all three of Dagnoffs, they eat jump, Dagnoff hide, Dagnoff bones, and they do drop a Dragon Hatchet. Now, unlike any other boss, these do each drop additional stuff. For instance, the Dagnoff Prime does have the ability to drop the. I believe it is the Sears Ring which is the magic version and that is because he is using magic now supreme Dagnoff does drop the archer's ring which is a melee um, which is a range ring sorry and he does also drop a seergo along with Pretty much like the range gear and stuff. Now lastly, Dagnoff Rex. He drops the Warrior's Ring and the Berserker Ring. Remember to, if you're not killing them quick enough, you may want to lure them before them next Dagnoff spawns. That way you're not able to tank in two of the three. Thank you all so much for watching this little short guide on how to kill the Dagnoff Kings on all three of them. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.